Hello everyone, my name is Ryan from R.Brandon and today in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a duotone image just like the way Spotify uses on their adverts and artwork. So to get right in this, find an image that you like. I found this lovely image from unsplash.com. The first thing I'm going to do is crop it down just so it's a little bit more easier to work with. Now from the adjustments panel, we're going to select a black and white layer adjustment. Move the sliders accordingly to your image so it gives more of a natural depth. Next, we're going to add a gradient map. We're going to keep it on black and white, change the blender mode to overlay and change the opacity to 20%. Now we're going to add another gradient map and this is what's going to create our duo tone. You want to pick a dark colour for the shadows and a light colour for the highlights. For this, on the dark shadows I'm going to choose blue and then the highlights green. And obviously if you need to, play around with the sliders again to give it more of that natural feel. Okay, now we're going to stylize the image a little by using the Blend If tool. The first thing I want you to do is grab your brush with a smooth edge and paint white over the highlights. Okay, so open your blending options by double clicking on the layer that you just painted on. Now the first thing you come to is two sliders, we want to use the bottom one for this case. We want to see where the underlying layer is lighter to only show this layer. We do this by dragging the slider across and holding ALT to separate the two sliders into one, creating more of a spectrum for where the highlights will be shown. We want to set the blender mode to overlay so it looks natural and you also want to drop the opacity slightly so it suits your image. Ok so the next thing we're going to do is repeat that process except we're going to paint with black and instead of the highlights we're going to paint on the shadows. And again you want to double click on that layer to bring up your blending options. We want to use the same slider as before except we're going to go from whites to blacks. We want to see where the underlying layer is darker to only be visible. Again we do this by moving the slider along and holding alt to separate the two sliders to give more of a wider spectrum. We also want to select the blender mode to soft light and again bring down the opacity so it suits your image. Ok, so the next thing I do is group those two layers together. I also add a layer mask on top of this group so we can make sure and find select where it actually hits. We want to make sure that it only affects our model so we want to mask out the bits where it goes over. For the best result and most natural look, we want to bring this layer below our adjustment layers, but still above our image layer. Now to give it more of a Spotify feel, I'm going to add some text. 
Now I'm not sure exactly what Spotify uses as their main font, but I'm going to use Proxima Nova, Light and Bold. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is introduce the Spotify logo to brand the image a little bit more. And the last thing we're going to do is introduce some random circles to really finish off that Spotify brand. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel where there's a new tutorial every single Friday. My name's Ryan from Art Brandon and I'll see you very soon guys.